Hi, Susan Kirsch. I'm the founder of Livable California. And I want to acknowledge, too, all of the effort that's gone into this compact. A part of what concerns me about the compact is how much it feels like this is sort of the insider baseball trading going on, that what we have for many of the committees are big businesses, big cities, and what's been excluded are the small cities and the everyday citizens, as other speakers have pointed to. You know, I, I'm looking at the cover page of your CASA compact, and it's called a 15-year emergency policy package to confront the housing crisis in the San Francisco Bay Area. So for one thing, it seems to me a 15-year crisis is something more like a 15-year crisis in planning or analyzing what it, what's at the heart of a problem that a crisis, unless it's famine because there's been no rain or something beyond control, but this is a 15-year crisis, is mislabeling what the real crisis is which is the undermining of local control as a basic building block of democracy. And as other speakers have said, local cities, the 101 cities are many of them not happy with, with what's being proposed by this insider group. And you have evidence of that in the November elections where, where in many of the cities, those incumbents who have been going along with, it's a housing crisis, instead of understanding how this is businesses continuing to find ways that cities can fund their own profits, what we have is that kind of crisis that voters are recognizing that they like having access to the people who are representing them. The idea of a regional agency as represented by, as represented by CASA is not something that the public is in favor of. I expect you will vote in favor of this of CASA and the compact, but I hope there will be openings for additional inclusion of cities and the point of view of the 101 cities and the citizens who live there.